when the boy was born, like all Spartans, he was inspected. If he'd been small or puny, or sickly or misshapen, he would have been discarded. From the time he could stand, he was baptized in the fire of combat. Taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Taught that death on the battlefield in service to Sparta was the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. At age seven, as is customary in Sparta, the boy was taken from his mother and plunged into a world of violence. Manufactured by 300 years of Spartan warrior society to create the finest soldiers the world has ever known. The Agogi, as it's called, forces the boy to fight, starves them, forces them to steal, and if necessary, to kill. By rod and lash, the boy was punished. Taught to show no pain, no mercy. Constantly tested, tossed into the wild, left to pit his wits and will against nature's fury. It was his initiation, his time in the wild, for he would return to his people a Spartan. Or not at all. The wolf begins to circle the boy. Claws of black steel. Fur as dark night, eyes glowing red, jewels from the pit of hell itself. The giant wolf, sniffing, savoring the scent of the meal to come. Grips him, only a heightened sense of things. The cold air in his lungs. Windswept pines moving against the coming night. His hands are steady. His form. So the boy, given up for dead, returns to his people, to secret Sparta, a king, our king, Leonidas! Ho, ho, ho! It's been more than 30 years since the wolf in the winter cold. Now, as then, a beast approaches. 
patient and confident, savoring the meal to come. This beast is made of men and horses, swords and spears. An army of slaves, vast beyond imagining, ready to devour tiny Greece, ready to snuff out the world's one hope for reason and justice. A beast approaches. It was King Leonidas himself who provoked it. <laughs> 